Hi, I'm Amy Rack with the Blast Off Comics, and today we're at Comic Con with J.K. Woodward. Thanks for taking time out of your busy. Happy to do it. Insane. <laughs> yeah. How is your convention going so far? It's been going great. Had a lot of meetings and a lot of signings so far, so I've been uh, very busy. And wondering. it's only Friday. I know. It feels like it should be Sunday. <laughs> I know. <laughs> which is a good and bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Are you set up anywhere, or are you just roving artists with your artists? Just roving artists, yeah. I'm doing signings at uh, Arkea and, of course, IDW for the Doctor Who Star Trek. Nice. Yeah. So what have you worked on for Arkea? Uh, I did a book with uh, uh, Chad Michael Murray. Oh, uh, Everlast. Yeah, Everlast. Sure. Yes, you've heard of it. Yes, All right, cool. I love Arkea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm... Um, I'm Pretty much in that area because Arkea is right across from IDW, so I've been. That's uh, not bad. Yeah. At Arkea, yeah. this is a silly thing, but they have a cushiness floor. I don't know what they do to their floor. Yeah, but it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Nice. And tell me more about your your project with the, uh, IDW. Tell us about Doctor Who and Star Trek. Well, it, it's a it's a crossover with Doctor Who Star Trek, and it's uh, next generation, uh, about around season five, um, and uh, and we get the Matt Smith Doctor. Um, but uh, since it's already been spoiled, since we've seen the cover, we should say that in issue three there is a flashback. So we got Captain Kirk and the gang um, with Tom nice. Baker, which is going to well, be well. You really can't lose. Oh, and you got to draw the scarf. Yeah, which might be a bad thing. I don't know, but <laughs> no, that's that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. That was always that was my doctor. You know, from like when I was a kid. I that's was what I. Ask. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's the one I grew up with. I don't know if I have a favorite doctor. If, probably, if I had to choose, I'd say Matt Smith right now. Um, because it's always the latest doctor that's my favorite. I, you usually hate them when they first come in, you know, because you're like, who is this guy? You know, like I, when he came in after Tenet, I, I couldn't stand him. <laughs> like nobody can replace. <laughs> yeah, them. yeah, well, because Tenet's, Tenet's uh, end was so sad, you know, and I just like, who is this guy? Uh, but right around Rebel Flesh, when, um, when Matt Smith started showing his range as an actor, that was like the, one of the best guy. Doctor Who's ever, and then I was just like, I love this guy now. You know? Yeah, there so. is always that interesting transition period. It's almost like a morning, like, five-step process where you go from doctor yeah. to doctor. Yeah, and then it, it feels like they're trying, like, hell to just, uh, you know, like, charm you, but just, you're not having it right away, no, you know? Like, it's, I just, you can't win me! Yeah, it's always half a season, usually about a half a season before I get to, like, the new Doctor, but, you know. So do you have a favorite Star Trek captain? Uh, that's a tough one, but, you know, um, if I had to choose, I like them all for different reasons, because they're all so different from each other. Probably the most similar ones, ironically, is probably, like, Janeway and Kirk. You know, uh, Interesting. Yeah, they, they are, because they, they're both, they both got balls, you know? They do. <laughs> uh, Picard yeah. was more of a diplomat. He's probably my favorite in that uh, uh, he represents more the Roddenberry dream than any other, other the captains, being the kind of diplomat he is. So I'd probably say him, but... Uh, I gotta admit, Kirk's a lot more fun. Well, you know? Kirk has that charisma that yeah. nobody else is quite nailed. And he punches people. Which is fabulous, yes. <laughs> yeah. There's not enough punching in later Star Trek. <laughs> no, no. Um, how did you get involved in the, in the project? Uh, I've been doing Star Trek work for um, IDW for, um, for a while. I've been doing like the Captain's Logs and Alien Spotlights and all these like one shots. And I just happened to call up one day, I, I talked to uh, Chris Rael and said, you know, is there any Star Trek stuff coming up? Because we were between, I was doing Fallen Angel for a while with Peter David, oh, okay, sure. and we were between miniseries, and I was just looking for something to do, and, uh, and he mentioned to me there might be this crossover, <laughs> and he mentioned it, I'm like, okay, you know what? If you don't have any work, just say so. Don't, don't screw with me like that. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> just, nice. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> uh, and then it, it was maybe about uh, two or three of the longest months of my life, but then I heard it actually went through, I was excited about it, and then later I heard I, I had actually gotten the job. And I tried out for it with, wow. um, with uh, pictures of, um, I did portrait of uh, Picard and a portrait of, you know, Matt Smith Doctor, and uh, the TARDIS and the Enterprise, and then I ended up putting these four pictures together, and that was the cover for number one. That's how I came to yeah. be. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I would have pinched myself completely. I can't even imagine that phone call. Yeah, it know. was, yeah, I, I couldn't work for the rest of the day. I was like, taking the day off. <laughs> I'm gone celebrating. I, I have one in life. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. What other um, products products do you have upcoming uh, after who? Um, well, I, I'm, I've just recently, um, I don't know if you've heard of uh, Roberson's project he's doing. Uh, he's doing um, these web comics. It's uh, called Monkey Brain Comics. A oh, Monkey Brain. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm like, I think, second or third wave in that. So I'll be doing a book for that, which I'm really excited about, yeah. called Behemoth. I'm doing something with Mike Norton uh, called oh, okay. Steam Witch for his double feature. Um, cool. And other than that, I've got still four more issues of this that we're, we're yeah, working on now. Yeah, that's probably going to keep you a little busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a few pages. <laughs> yeah. Um, I believe you have some art on sale. Like, you can find you online. You also have original art oh, yeah. on the internet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Where I, I, can find you? Well, I finally got an agent, and I'm going through uh, Cadence, Cadence Comic Art. Okay. Um, and that's cadencecomicart.com. Um, and right now I've got uh, issue one 
uh, after I get home, back to New York from here, I'm going to be giving him the, the pages for two and three. So everything from one through three will be available. From I'll, the Star Trek Who, right? From the Star okay, Trek Who, yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. So people need to keep an eye on that to, uh, yeah. to grab it up. That's yeah. amazing. And where are you, are you have your own website? Are you on DeviantArt? Where can people stalk you in the not creepy way? <laughs> <laughs> I, have, um, I have an art blog. Um, it's uh, jkwoodwardart.blogspot.com. Uh, and I have a website that really needs to be updated, but it's jkwoodward.com. That's, yeah. Yeah, that just kind of happens. <laughs> yeah. It's important that it's there. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything else at the convention, like uh, in the next couple of days, that you're really dying to see? Uh, artist signings, writers, anything? I haven't even got a chance to really uh, get into that yet because I'm, I've got like, um, I think, five or six hours of signings tomorrow. Okay. Um, so Sunday's going to be my day to look around so and, and find it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to wait on that. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking yeah. time out of your schedule to speak with us. And uh, keep watching Blast Off Comics for more comics news, posts, um, interviews from the convention, and all the good stuff. Thanks.